Welcome to Tammy's Tiny Tots Rewards. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Oh, I just clicked something. <laughs> um, my weekend was good. Um, it was a long weekend here in Canada. Um, it was Labor Day weekend. My daughter and her, my grandson came for the weekend, and we did a lot of, a lot, lot of activities. So I have my sweet baby Josie here and I'm going to change her into a sleeper. Um, this one has birds on it and a little white collar, pink trim. It's got pink bows going down where the domes are. And then the feet have little pink like ballet slippers almost on them. And then I'm going to put this gray hat with this pink flowery thing decorative thing on it so my week my weekend was amazing um my daughter got here friday night um we didn't really do much other than just play in the back backyard let my grandson play in the backyard and uh on the swing set and um then we uh and then we Saturday, we got up Saturday morning, and um, we went to, Jessica and Ben and I went to the Upper Canada Village. Um, at, it's a pioneer village. Well, Benjamin kept calling it a pineapple village and asking where the pineapple people were. And we kept telling him it's pioneer, and he kept saying pineapple. So, yeah, he's quite a funny little guy. <laughs> so we went to the Pioneer Village, and it was um, Horse uh, Lovers Weekend. So they had a little horse show there. Um, we didn't really sit and watch the horse show because Ben just wouldn't have sat through it. But as we were walking around the Pioneer Village, we could see what was like. You know, as we were walking, you could kind of watch and see some of the show. So... It was, I, I still got to see some of it, some of the horse riding show, which was kind of cool. And then uh, we decided to have lunch in a little cafe. Now the cafe is <laughs> set up and ran by people dressed in, you know, um, period time, proper time period uh, clothing and, um, the menu is very small and it's basically, um, you know, food that you would have gotten in that time period. Um, well, they made grilled cheese sandwiches. That's what Jessica and I had was grilled cheese and wet French fry wedges. Like, well, not French fry, but there were just potato wedges. And uh, the bread is made... The bread they use in the restaurant is the bread that the baker makes in the in the bakery um, in the village. And the cheese, as well, comes from the farm itself. Or like, from the cheese. They make cheese right on, uh, like, in the little, in the village. So, the cheese is from there as well. Well, the cheese that was in the sandwich wasn't bad and the the bread grilled cheesed you know grilled with the, in the frying pan was good but my we got our my grandson said all he wanted was a piece of bread so they had what they called a bread plate and it was bread plain bread um the bread they bake and it was um there was cheese and there was grapes and apple slices on his plate and uh i tried a piece of, oh and it came with a bowl of chutney a berry a berry chutney is what it said which is like a preserve like a berry preserve kind of thing that you can put on the bread so i took a piece of his bread and i spread some chutney on it and it was okay it wasn't the best but it was okay um it did tasted a little weird, <laughs> but other than that, it was okay. And then 
um, I tried a piece of his cheese. And we hadn't gotten our grilled cheese sandwiches yet. And I was terrified after I ate this piece of cheese of what my grilled cheese was going to taste like. But it ended up tasting good. The cheese tasted horrible. I mean horrible. <laughs> it tasted like a bad, like you're eating a bad smell type thing. Like the smell I could relate it to on the day because my daughter wouldn't even try it. My grandson, he wouldn't eat it. Um, but the, the, uh, the way it smelled or tasted in my mouth, like was, you know, when you smell a hor a terrible smell and it coats the inside of your nose and mouth and you can almost taste that smell. Well, when I ate the cheese, it was like eating a smell that didn't smell so great. Um, <laughs> it smelled like when I had earlier that day, I had leaned over a pig pen and the smell that wafted up leaned over to look in at the pigs because they were close to the fence where I was standing. And when I leaned over, oh my gosh, it was the worst smell I've ever smelled. And the cheese kind of gave me that smell back. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. Anyway, we had a really lovely day there doing the village. And then um, we came home and then just hung out at the house and played outside and stuff like that. And then uh, on Sunday for Labor Day weekend, they had um, in the town close to ours, Cardinal, they had a parade, so we went to the parade, and Benjamin ended up with, like, half of a zip freezer Ziploc bag full of candy from the parade. And then we went down, they had bouncy castles, and they had a dog um, competition, like, where dogs jump into the water and have to swim and make the best time. And they had, um, a, right, everything was down at their playground area, so Ben had a fabulous time. They had all kinds of bouncy things. He wouldn't go on them. He wanted to at first, but then he changed his mind. And we just played at the playground and listened to, the, you know, the music and the, what was going on down there, which was a lot of fun. And then later on that, in the night, we went, we came home, and then we went back to Cardinal for fireworks on Sunday night. And they were really, really good. It was a lot of fun. Ben, it was his first fireworks that he was like up close and personal for. Um, he loved it. He was grinning his little head off and having a great old time. So yeah, it was a really, really lovely, lovely weekend. And then yesterday, which was Monday, um, the, because no, a lot of people don't work on Monday, but we had to go somewhere and we had to drive. Jesse had it home. When she headed home, John and I went um, to where we needed to go to pick up some stuff, like some running around we needed to do. Um, luckily, it wasn't somewhere that was closed because some things are closed on Labor Day. But yeah, it was was an op a place that was open, and we went like a, over a two hour drive there and two hour drive home. But we had a a nice drive and a, a lot of just chatting in the car and spending some time together because he's been so busy lately working on our house on the outside of it yeah so it was quite a weekend busy 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 so i hope everyone else had a good weekend if you're a canadian and it's labor day weekend i hope you had a good weekend all the kids start at school today here in ontario yay <laughs> um yeah, my granddaughter started school. My grandson started school. I'll have to call him tonight to find out how his first day of school went. And because uh, it's his very first day of school, he started junior kindergarten today. So, yeah, it's exciting. Totally exciting. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our story of what happened this weekend and our changing of little Miss Josie into this cute little sleeper. I don't know why, but I wanted to put everybody in sleepers and I've been slowly getting everyone in sleepers. So once now that Josie's done, all I have left is Penny and I have um, Penny, Penny and Posy and um, then my cuddle baby left to change and then they've all been changed once in our new studio. Yay! <laughs> Finally. So hit that like if you like this video, hit that dislike if you didn't, because that's okay. But most of all, everyone, stay safe and smile and share a smile with a friend.
Bye.